making simple alphabet with stock plugin is so easy let me show you you also have it i'm sammy beast today i'm gonna show you how to create top alphabet without using any so-called fancy or expensive plugin but only fl studio stock plugins let's have some fun first let's fix our tempo we're gonna go 105 and load flex it's gonna be our first instrument um and i'm gonna use this preset it is a pad a flute pad now I'm gonna start with the low note and then after create the chord. Let me lower the gain a little bit. Let it go down. Uh oh. Hmm. Okay, now let's create the chord. Let's try a major. And let's try. And I think I'm going to copy this. Let's transpose this one too. Nice, love it. Woo! Comment B. Now we're gonna adjust the velocity Alt O and then Alt X. Sorry. Alt X and then we we'll go down a little bit. That is our main chord. So nice now, I'm gonna combine it with another pad. I'm gonna go in armless. And I'm gonna use this mellow pad that I saved. And comment C, comment V. We add it to the mixer channel and then we move some of the low frequencies that we don't necessarily need. Um, we can use this filter like that. And together nice love it and now i'm gonna go and use another stock plugin again which is morphine this one is one of my favorite fl studio stock plugin This one is our main melody. I think it is catchy enough to keep the listener attention. And now let's add the next instrument. It's gonna be uh, another uh, flex. Let me use the flex again. Flex has a lot of good preset. Go to our essential guitar. And there's a preset that I think that sounds nice. I go to certain. You follow the chord. And then you go right there, you do the same thing too. Sorry. Then simple. Like you just follow the code and then you go. But I think one thing I'm gonna do right now is copy this middle note and then we transpose them one octave higher. Alt O uh, so we can play with the velocity, add some reverb, place, place them in the same space uh, with the flute. I'm just going to copy the same reverb and then boom. But with more reverb. Nice. And then the last instrument gonna be something from Morphin. And 
I think I can add a float easily. Just add a float. Let me go to another float, a string. Let's use this preset. I love this preset. Let's try something. Now I'm gonna go directly to the drums, go to Afro BDS show bundle volume one and go to Afro Vibe. I'm going to use a shaker. Go to bonus. Let me use this shaker real quick. And for the percussion, I'm gonna start with Afro BDS show bundle volume two. This one is not out yet. Uh, it's it's coming soon. I, I think I'm definitely done with it, so I will drop it soon. So go to Afro Perk. Let me use this one like cap, 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 tap, 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 tap. Simple like that. The basic Afro beat percussion pattern. And then the next thing gonna be to add some conga. I'm gonna use this one. And then the vintage one like. Maybe let's try this one. Took it. Okay, now it's time to add the kick. Uh, I might use a kick from the Amapia Casa Amapiano. Um, let's go use this kick, and then boop, we have. I love it. Woo! Now I think and um, the next thing gonna be maybe to add a bass. Um go to fire. Let me go to fire. I really love using this bass because it's it sound very very nice and it sounds real too. This bass sample that I have right here. And the bass pattern gonna be a pretty simple bass pattern. Let's go right there, like. And then it's like we go up, down, both. Now it's time to add more percussion just to bring life to the drums. Normally when you're trying to add more element to your drum, don't overthink. Just go with the vibe. You you try to play something and then if it sounds nice, you keep it. If it's not, you just move on to the next one. Just be creative. This is the one thing that's going to make your beat sound different than other producers. Don't be afraid of being creative. This is you. This is your vibe. And try things that you think that sound nice and then after Everyone will love it. I think I'm gonna change this one. Nice. Okay, let's start with this one. Okay. One third bit. Something like that. Like that. And then one thing we're gonna do, we're gonna Add this one as a six right there. Something good there. And then the next gonna be this one. And then we get back to the beat and then boom boom boom. Simple like that. Okay, so now we're going to play with the not pen this gonna pen left right call it and then we we'll go to the high one and then this gonna start right there and then I will have this one that give us 
this like that okay we can do it like that so i can take it make them sound like nice and then get back to the second one I want people to feel the panning. Nice. Woo. Let me use this one. One more vibe. Comment B. And then we have it. Uh, maybe this one. Or oh, let me go back to this right there. I need something that give you give us this this impact. And then next, uh, I'm gonna add is gonna be something from fire again. I think I have some. I can combine those two. I can combine like that, and then we have our fill. And then we have a crash. You can use this um a my piano crash. This one. And then now we have a bit that sound so crazy, so nice. Woo! I, I think I, I need to add uh the L1 intro maximizer so I can have more vibe to listen. So simple like that guys it sounds nice and i love it now i'm just going to make the balance make sure that everything sounds nice and loud enough to be heard and yeah and after i'm gonna play the demo for you enjoy That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please tell me in the comment section if you want more content like this. If you have questions, please leave a comment down below. See you guys in the next one.